Hey y'all, welcome to my channel you guys. If you're new, my name is Cass. I post videos all about how to create content that's DIY, budget friendly, beginner friendly to enhance your brand, business, or just upgrade your content creation in general you guys. And today we're talking all about lighting your photos indoor edition. Today we're talking all about lighting your indoor shoots. I have several videos about how to build an in-home studio in your bedroom, in your house for very, very cheap, maybe even free might be coming out soon. I've hinted at that video twice now, so so y'all should know it's coming. I thought it was very important to get deep, deep down and talk about how to actually light these studios. So in a lot of my videos, I do kind of discuss lighting a little bit, but in this video, I wanted to get very specific with you guys and tell you how I light my photos, keep them interesting, even though they're being taken in my bedroom. So I planned out the shoot. We're gonna do some lighting stuff. I'm gonna tell you guys everything I know about lighting, which is semi from going to film school, but also, you know, mainly from just trial and error so we're gonna do some different lighting so i'm gonna go ahead hop into my studio which you guys have seen plenty of diy videos on how to build a bedroom studio i'm gonna put up my black sheet backdrop and we're going to shoot off of there so we can capture the light the best i want to start with available lighting so as you see here i am standing in front of my window so we're going to play around with the window and lamp first because that's just lighting that you may already have that you don't have to go out and purchase or wait for so i do have two windows here let me show y'all so in my room, I have two windows. One happens to be right next to my studio, which is perfect sometimes, not perfect <laughs> other times. Um, but when it comes to lighting, just even in general, you want to make sure you have a focal point. So if I'm using one um, window and I'm not trying to get too much light, I want it to be more controlled, then I'm probably going to close the other window. So I'm closing that window just because I solely want light from this window right here. It's about four o'clock, so it's kind of like afternoon transitioning into the evening-ish so this is kind of the lighting that we're getting it's not too direct like i can't feel the sun sun beaming down on me i can definitely see it beaming down on the trees but it looks like it gets a little shaded um this direction so this is kind of that lighting that i'm getting from a four o'clock four o'clock um sunny day there's not really any clouds in the sky so we're gonna play around with the light from the window first all right you guys so we're shooting on the Canon 70D flip up screen. I'm gonna use self timer. I have a video all about how to photograph yourself that I just dropped this week, so check that out if you're photographing yourself. Um, but I have it on autofocus. My ISO is on auto 3.5 um, f stop and then 30 shutter speed, and I'm shooting on. 18 millimeters. I may go in like between 18 and 35 for some shots. We'll just play around with that and see what we got. All right, so I just changed my ISO to 800. It was looking a little grainy to me. The first thing I want to mention to you guys is a totally free option for lighting and that is the beautiful window. You can actually get some really cool shots with the window, with the lighting from your window from the sun because the sun is at different points of the sky, different times of the day. So you're getting lighting at different times of the day when it comes to using the window, using the sun. You can't really move it around and you don't have too much control over it. That's mainly the downside with just using your window. But if you shoot at the right time of day, you can get some really, really good lighting from your window, you guys. So definitely utilize that window light. Don't don't take it for granted. It's for free. It's the brightest light on the planet and the universe. Okay, so we got some really good stuff out the window. So now we're going to try out the bed and use the lamp next to the bed to kind of light up and take some portrait shots um, in the bed.
the next thing you guys which isn't necessarily free but i'm sure you already own is a lamp you guys can light with a lamp with lighting that you already have you don't need to have studio equipment you can do some pretty cool fun things with just the lighting that you have available if you have a lampshade on it perfect that softens the light doesn't make it as harsh on you so you know and if you don't have a lampshade or something you can literally put a sheet over it put a piece of paper over it and just soften the light so you don't get as harsh of a light if any of y'all are wondering why I'm wearing a baseball cap, it's because my hair is done with me and I don't know what I want to do with it next. I think I want to do braids. I don't know. My hair is done with me and I don't want to subject you guys to whatever is going on under this cap. So, you know, I felt like the nude of the Howard hat matched the nude of my dress. So that's, it doesn't match at all, but that's what we're doing. I just knocked out artificial lighting. So as you see, you can get some pretty good pictures with just a lamp, you guys. The Philips Hue light bulbs, so the colorful ones that you will get, I actually put into my studio lamps. You guys will see I use them in my photo studio and your bedroom video to get that red effect. I really like them because you can do like disco mode and different effects with them. So I have two bulbs inside of my actual um, softbox because the other two bulbs are at my job. I actually need to get those. We're gonna play around with softbox and RGB lighting. RGB just refers to like colorful lighting. If you don't have hue bulbs, you don't don't worry. You don't have to purchase hue bulbs. You can actually get lighting gels. So they're basically just colorful kind of clear papers that you can put over your light to make them any color and so that's a cheaper alternative if you have something that you can put over so like tissue paper or something then that can change the color of the lighting as well so you don't have to have rgb lights in order to achieve the rgb light look but that's the next one we're going to play around with <laughs> of the light it's been in front of me so you guys when you're using lighting you can play around with the way the light is coming from so let's let's hit it from the side now let's say you're ready you want to go in you want to make your first lighting purchase what should you get so there's many different options you guys there's the ring light the ring light is beautiful especially if you're going to be a youtuber you just want regular lighting you don't really care too much about cinematic lighting you just want something that's going to make you look good make your eyes get that little circle sparkle all that good stuff then a ring light is perfect or a portable led light i use those a lot that's perfect for just like light me light me up wonderful do that do your thing get a ring light love them i'm I'm about to get another one they have rgb ring lights which are ring lights that have different colors to them i know savage sells rgb ring lights so you know you can have fun with the ring light now if you're trying to be a little bit more cinematic with your lighting that's when i would suggest getting a soft box so a soft box is going to be like those big kind of lights that you guys see in photography studios or on film sets those are these soft box lights so you can actually get really affordable soft box lights lights from amazon i got mine from adorama you can get them from bnh pretty much any photo store has some pretty affordable softbox lights. They usually come with like a set of two or three softboxes and sometimes you can even get them with a backdrop, backdrop stand and all that good stuff. So you can get started in photography at a very, very low price photography slash videography um, if you do have a little money to spend on your equipment. So I would definitely suggest getting some softboxes, you guys. There's lots of things you can do with them, lots of different ways that you can play around with them. So I connected my hue bulbs, which means now we have RGB, whatever color light that I want to do. So I did red in that one shoot home studio. We got pink, it's cute, what about blue? Ooh, I'm kind of, the blue is interesting. It's interesting. I low-key want to put one of the bulbs in another um, soft box so we can do like a mix of colors. So let's, let's do that real quick. So now I have two soft boxes, both with hue bulbs. And so now what we can do is play around with the actual two different lights. So this is number one and it's number two. So that's like red and blue. 
Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> It looks great in the camera, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my shutter speed to 30. My f-stop, I'm gonna keep it at four. And then ISO, let's just do 400 ISO for now. And then I'm just on auto white balance once again. All right, let's see, let's see what we got here. Not bad, not bad. For my soft boxes specifically, I actually switched out the bulbs with hue bulbs. I could, I do like the bulbs that they come with and I will use that sometimes. It's just with my hue bulbs, I have control over RGB so I can add colorful lighting. I can do different things with that. So I do put one of my hue bulbs, one of each in each soft box or I'll put both of them in one soft box if I'm just shooting with one like I'm currently doing in this moment. Um, so I like to play around with that just so I can get colorful lighting and I can control my lighting temperature and dim it. But you guys can definitely use the lighting that's available with in the softbox totally up to you shot with a lot of different colors so now we're going to try colors from certain directions so i'm gonna light myself from the side we'll do some silhouettes and then we're gonna have fun with a projector so i'm about to move this hue back into this light so we just have one light with two hue bulbs both hue bulbs are in here let's move this baby out the way So I did kind of mention RGB lighting, you guys. That's just having colorful lighting. So that's another thing you could do to play around with your different lighting. You can add colors. You can do a mixture of colors um, that complement each other. You guys will see I did like red and blue. I did yellow-ish, orange-ish, and blue. I did pink and blue. I'm just now realizing these all involve blue. I have a Pinterest board that I call Light It Up, and I was trying to try like these different lighting techniques from that board. So you can play around with two different light colors. You guys will see I put both my hue bulbs in one light and played around with just having green light so you can play around a lot with rgb so last but not least we're gonna play around with the projector i'm excited for this i haven't even gotten new projections yet but i know i want to do like a laser projection on my face here it is so i have my projector on it's a small little mirror projector it's really really good though i got it from best buy and then it's just on here it's kind of hard to see right now because my lights pointed at it but i'm gonna try i want to try like to do chinese letters mandarin letters so i just found like some online i'm gonna try to make it like full screen and we're going to see how that looks in the projection all right so we have them projected on the backdrop Let's see how it looks i don't know i can't tell Ooh. Ooh. hold up hold up hold up, hold up. Okay, that looks kind of cool.
have a little mini mirror projector i think that's how you pronounce it that i got from best buy it was probably about a hundred dollars or so um i bought it to you know watch movies and present things but it's actually pretty cool i've seen people recently use projectors to take photos and do different things so i was like I'm gonna try that out so if you guys have a projector if you want to go out and invest in a projector you're already watching Netflix anyways might as well get you a mini projector um then they're really really great so glad that worked so those are all the different lights that you guys can use now we're going to talk about what you can do with each of those lights number one thing I want to talk about you guys and I kind of mentioned this a little bit is soft light versus harsh light so right now I have a soft light on me it's in the name soft box so hard light just means literally the light is directly pointed at you it's a harsh light typically like the light in your bedroom or like a street lamp that's harsh light because it's just trying to light up the scene now a soft light is usually a light with something over it so the soft box has a box around it that's softening the light sometimes you'll see people use the little umbrella things that's softening the light so that's just another option when you want to soften the light so there's not harsh shadows on you like you guys can kind of see right now that my lighting is very even and that's because i'm using a soft box i'm using soft light it is a little bit off to the side so i do have some shadows right here but that's kind of the difference between soft light and hard light you may want to use hard light sometimes i like to play around with hard light i want to have harsh shadows typically the sun will give you a very hard light in the afternoon midday um and then if you get shoot toward golden hours that's sunset sunrise and you can get more of a soft light from the actual sun the next thing i want to talk about is just the direction you guys so you'll see me play around with having lights in front of me having lights on the side of me having lights over me having light behind me to create a silhouette so you know when you have lights you can also move them around just like you guys move around like we have <laughs> have you guys moving around your camera angles all the time you can also move around your actual light so those are just some of the ways that you guys can light your indoor shoots there's so many more ways it'll probably be a part two to this video there's definitely going to be an outdoor lighting your photos and there's definitely going to be a whole lighting your videos video because yeah there's just so much you can do um with video lighting but i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i hope this helps you to enhance your lighting within your photos to try out some new stuff and just to have fun you guys i know i always say have fun when you're shooting if you use any of these tips to create something and post it to instagram make sure to use hashtag work that fam so that i can check it out as i mentioned before i have tons of videos on building your own home studio photographing yourself all of that good stuff so go check out those videos go create some content and i'll see y'all in my next video i'm out peace love happiness respect we out we out yeah we out we out yeah